All right, now that we've talked about a lot of things involving short exact sequences, let's look at some examples. So let's start with this one. Zero going to integers, going to the integers again, going to z mod 5z, uh, going to zero, where um, v of n is going to be 5n. So v is multiplication by 5. So what do we know about this? Let's see here. This does not split. And why is that so? If it split, we would have something that would go from z mod 5z to the integers such that we could get a bijection. Um, so let's see, we, we here we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we can't, I don't think we can even have a, oh, we could have a homomorphism. We could just send everything to 0, but obviously that won't work. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't think we can have a homomorphism because you'd send one somewhere and then two you'd send to like twice of you you uh any homomorphism from like z n yeah it you 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 can work on where where this map sends one to figure out where it will send everything else and what will happen is what its image won't be a subgroup because you'll be able to like add a bunch of stuff like so subgroups of z non-trivial subgroups of z are going to be infinite and you can't have the image of a finite set under a map be infinite so we can't possibly have a split so let's see here if there is a retraction that's equivalent to trivial and we know that trivial implies split because obviously there, there's an obvious splitting that you would use or you, there's an obvious section that you would use. Right, this does not split because there is no section. That's what I meant. Section, that's, that's the word. So there's a, re, there's a retraction if and only if the short, is, short exact sequence is trivial, which this implies that there is a split. And so not split will imply not trivial by contrapositiveness. And then this is there is no retraction. So we know that this sequence does not Let's see here. So it does not split, therefore it does not have a retraction. Okay, so let's see here. So we have trivial implies split. But what about the other direction? To investigate that, let's look at another example. Let H be the collection of matrices 0, 1, x1, where x is in C. And of course, this is isomorphic to um, the additive group of complex numbers, because if you multiply any two such, if you multiply 1x01 by 1y01, you'll get 1x plus y01. You can just check that. So um, H is a subgroup of G, which we will define as AX01, where X is in C, but here A is going to be in uh, C cross, which is C without the origin. Okay? Then 1 goes to H, goes uh, by inclusion to G, 
which goes by the determinant to C, X goes to 1, is a short exact sequence. And why is that? Obviously, this is going to be injective. This is going to be surjective because for any complex number, non-zero complex number, say lambda, then if you consider the diagonal matrix lambda times i, so just zeros everywhere but lambdas down the diagonal, then that's going to have... Oh, wait. I think you need to put square root of lambda in the... Um... No, well, yeah, hmm. Oh, wait. So this is a alpha one zero one. So we want alpha one zero zero. The determinant of this is going to be a. Oh, there we go. So if you just take for any comp non zero complex number, you just put that in for a and there you go, the, the determinant of this matrix is A. And so therefore, this is a determinant is a surjective map there. Uh, and obviously, this is going to be a homomorphism. This is going to be homomorphism. Uh, what about the image in the kernel thingy? So anything in H is going to map by inclusion to here. And then let's see here. If Let's see here, the determinant. So the determinant is, uh, so, so the identity element in CX is 1. And if we take anything in H and compute its determinant, then we get 1 minus X times 0. So that's just 1. And, okay, so that, so we have inclusion one way. Uh, what if we take something that's in the kernel of this? So that means that this, is 1, but this is a times, well, a, it'll be a plus, a times 1 plus x times 0, so it's just a. And so that means that a equals 1, which means that this matrix is something which is, which comes from an element of h under inclusion. Okay, so therefore this is indeed a short exact sequence. Okay, um, let S of Z equal Z zero zero one. So S goes from C cross to G. Um, is this a homomorphism? Uh, S of uh, xy equals xy001. Zero, zero, oh, but yeah, that's just um, x001 zero, zero, times y001, zero, zero, right? Because you get x plus y plus times. No, no, you get x times y, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so there you go. So this is s, x, s, y. And what is the determinant composed with s of the element z? So this is going to be the determinant of the matrix Z zero zero one. Okay, well, the determinant of this is just Z minus zero, so this is just Z. So, thus, um, S is a section, and so this short ex so this is a short exact sequence which is split, and. What about triviality of this? Um, so, let's 
So I claim that um, this short exact sequence is non-trivial. If it were, then um, G is isomorphic to H direct sum with C cross. And H and C cross, if we look at uh, multiplication there, um, these are abelian groups because obviously multiplication of complex numbers commutes. And then if you look at H, um, you get, uh, when you multiply two things together, you get, um, wait, Right, because 0, 1, x1, or 1, x, 0, 1 times 1, y, 0, 1 is going to be 1, x plus y, 0, 1, which is the same as 1, y plus x, 0, 1, and you get the other way, and so it ends up being abelian. And if you take the uh, direct sum of two abelian groups, you get an abelian group, and so g is going to be abelian in this case. Um, but, uh, for example, we have zero, one, uh, no, that's not, that's not right. Let's take two matrices, these two matrices. So this is, if you do the multiplication, you get, uh, two, two. 0, 1. This is certainly not equal to 2, 3, 0, 1. But 2, 3, 0, 1 is what you get when you multiply 2, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 1, 0, 1. So G is not abelian. So therefore, it cannot be trivial because if it because it's not an abelian group okay so we know that trivial implies split but split does not imply trivial how about another example uh, zero going to z2 this is just uh, z mod 2z and this will go to 10 z10 which is z mod 5z no, z mod 10z. Then that's going to go to z5, which is z mod 5z. That's going to go back to 0. Where, let's see here. So, phi 1 is going to equal 5. Um, and that, that tells you everything you need to know about phi. Because if phi... For phi to be homomorphism, it's got to send 0 to 0. And here if it sends 1 to 5, then that works. Because, yeah, it's, it, you, you can just check that. Um, and we also have uh, psi of, and I'm going to write this in a way that makes me not have to write a lot of stuff. Psi of one zero one two three four is going to be the same thing as psi of five six seven eight nine, and in either case, this is going to be zero one two three four. And what I mean by that is this: by this I mean phi, psi of zero equals psi of five equals zero, psi of one equals psi of six equals one, and so forth see here I claim this is trivial so all we need is a retraction from here to here and there's only so many maps wait yeah So, 
um, let R of um, N equal, let's see here, it's going to be zero if N is even and one if N is odd. Then, okay, so this is going to send zero, two, four, six, eight to zero and one, three, five, seven to one. And you can just check that that will work. Um, because if you start here, if you start at zero, then you'll go to zero and that'll take you back to zero. If you start at one, you'll go to five. Five is odd and it'll take you back to one. Um, and of course you can also check that this is a homomorphism. I'll leave that to you, but yeah. So there's a period there. Um, then R is a retraction. So um, let's see here. So this is trivial. Let's see here. And in fact, so since this is trivial, we know that it there is that this is split. And so we haven't done any work, but we know automatically that we have a section going from Z5 to Z10. And you can actually think about what that would have to be. Um, if you look at the elements 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you think about where they'd have to go to. Um, okay, so what things... So obviously zero is going to go to zero. Um, where would one go? Um, the things that map to one were both one and six. So if we have our uh, section S such that S of one equals one, then the image of zero, one, two, three, four is zero, one, two, three, four. And that's not a subgroup of Z10. So that won't work. So then what's the other option? Oh, well, let's go with S of one equals six. Then we'll send one to six, and then two will go to 12, which is two. Then three will go to, and so, six, so S will take one to six, which of course maps back to one. It'll take two to 12, which is two mod, uh, mod 10, and that's obviously gonna to map to two then it will, t S of three will be two plus six, which is eight. And that we see is gonna to map to three. Uh, and then S of four is gonna be eight plus six, which is 14, which is four, which of course is gonna to map to four. And so there you go. Um, this gives you, compo composing this map that we've described uh, described S with the um, with this map psi will give us the identity or composing psi with us wh whichever way is the way that's supposed to go and then if we look at the image of this map we get 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 and that is the subgroup of um, Z mod 10 Z and so there you go uh, yeah that finishes that example and yeah, we're done with examples, and now we're going to go back to talking about semi-direct products.